you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some more positions to go over as far as Superstar, X Factors, and hopefully, hopefully some abilities as well. If they do, go ahead and want to show us some of that. Now, as you guys saw yesterday, this is where we started with. We got the quarterbacks. We went through all this. This was super, super cool. Click on the link. It shows you a cool little bio for them. Their zone ability. Kind of why they have it. What they've done in real life. So it's kind of it like Mahomes generational arm strength. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you guys kind of understand. It's pretty self-explanatory how they're doing this. Now, they're about to drop the next positions, and I'm super excited to see who they are. Now, the thing is with this is that quarterbacks is what they started with. I assume we'll probably get either defense today or we're going to move on to the running backs and wide receivers. Regardless, I'll be super excited to see who they end up dropping today. Now, for this video per se, I, I, I'm this. you guys may not think this is Madden Ultimate Team related. Like, it's just, oh, these are just ranked things. But no. These cards will all be base leads in Madden. They're going to have, these are going to be the, like, these are going to, you're pretty much getting an idea of all the X factors and all the ability type stuff that's going to be in Ultimate Team day one at least. So it's pretty exciting because I'm getting an idea for, like, how I want to build my quarterback, who has what, what are they adding, what's new. So I'm pretty excited for all this. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Guys, we're getting closer every single day. I'm super excited for Madden 21. Come join the family now so you can be a part of our, hopefully, our big year as I hope to have this year. I hope we have a really big year on YouTube this year, guys. But it's all part of you guys. Keep showing support. We'll keep growing. And as far as the giveaway winners, I will announce them on the community tab later today. Instead of making a video for it, I'm probably going to announce on the community tab. So for all you guys wondering, that's where I'll be doing it. Now let's head on over and we're going to go check out the new positions. See what they dropped. See what they're talking about here. So let's get into it. So we have the new players up here. We got some running backs. Over on defense, we still have nothing. Super cool looking card art though. We got Christian McCaffrey right here. We got Dalvin Cook. We got Ezekiel Elliott, Derrick Henry, which I think that was kind of lazy of them to make Derrick Henry and Zeke the same card art. I don't know why they do that. I mean, these were two different ones. You know, great at juking. Elusive, let's just say, uh, you know, ankle breakers, what his thing is actually. That's, oh, that's a new one. Ankle breaker as his X Factor. We got Freight Transfer. I guess it's. Per, I guess they're doing it based on like the X Factors will have the same pictures if they're the same thing. Now, I don't know why Zeke got Freight Train. I feel like he'd be more of some other stuff other than that. We do have Nick Chubb, and then we have Saquon Barkley. So that is cool. Saquon is one of the X factors to start the year, which he was last year, I'm pretty sure. So regardless, I mean, I was hoping he'd at least stay. So let's get into these real quick. So let's go into Christian McCaffrey to start from the top here. So Christian McCaffrey, number 22, of course, Stanford. Truly devastating receiving threats like Christian McCaffrey are the ones that catch and can't be caught. When CMC enters the zone, the, the zone. Enters the zone. He has an increased fake out rates on spin juke hurdle after the catch. So pretty much any skill move you do, any move you do after the catch, whether it be you jump over someone, you juke or spin, he's pretty much gonna have be able to just do pretty much anything and have a high rate of just getting it done. Let's go read ankle breaker. So mix the catch, can't be caught, increase zone, increase fake out rates on skill moves following the catch. Three 10 yard plus receptions is how you get it. One drop, incompletion of three consecutive non-targets. Now that sucks. That means you're gonna have to target him pretty much every set of downs. Or else he loses it. I really don't like that extra one in there. But let's go back now. Back to the main page. Now we got Dalvin Cook. Really cool that he got X Factor. Number 33, 5'10. The NFL's best big play throw at running back. Cook possesses incredible vision and burst. When he enters his zone, Cook's first one free ability increases his fake out rate on his next juke, spin, or hurdle. Let's go every first one free. I mean, usual stuff. High fake out rate on next juke, spin, or hezzy. Three rushes of 10 plus yards. Tackle for loss is how you lose it. So easy to get, easy to lose. So I mean, I'm honestly first one free is my least favorite X factor in all of this Madden. Because these players can get evasive or jukebox or spin or spin cycle or whatever. So that is more effective to me than just having first one free activated. So if you have first one free and evasive, it's just a waste of an X factor in my opinion. I really don't like that one at all. But am I, I mean, ankle breaker is pretty cool actually because it's after the catch, so it's kind of different than you know, evasives when you're running. But I mean, same thing though. At the end of the day, I think I prefer freight train usually as my X factor. So let's get into Derrick Henry here. So, with the best stiff arm in the game, he's always looking to embarrass defenders. Freight trains are relentless runners who refuse to go down on first contact. When he enters the zone, Henry's freight train ability increases his chance to break the next tackle. Zone ability. Looks like a train. Alabama, fifth season, six foot three. This is a monster. I mean, body type in this game. I don't know how it's going to apply next year, but he's hard to tackle in this game. Freight train refuses to go down on first contact. Increased chance to break the next tackle attempt. 
Three rushes for 10 plus yards, one tackle for loss. Similar to uh, Dalvin Cooks. Easy to get. But the difference with his, though, it's harder to lose for a reason. So Dalvin Cook is first one free. So pretty much for him, once he gets it, it's very easy for him to get caught in the backfield. And you can juke that first guy out, but it's a very slow juke. It's very it's very unlikely. Probably still going to lose yards. With Freight Train, it's hard to lose it because you almost always break the first tackle attempt. So pretty much in the backfield, in the catch, you just break and you keep running. So that's why when Eric Dickerson had the X-Factor uh, Freight Train, the NFL 100 one, he literally just had it like all game. So Zeke, I'm not going to read it again because obviously the same thing, but I'll read the bio. Keep feeding Zeke the ball and he will carry to victory. The Ohio State product is one of the few players in the NFL who thrive on making defenders look silly. When he enters the zone, Elliott's freight train ability increases his chance to break the next tackle. So same card art, I guess it was just based on whatever their X factor is. Again, shout out to Conrad Javier for making this again. Ohio State, six feet tall to uh, number 21. He's like a mid-sized running back. Not too tall, not too tiny, somewhere right between. I mean... A six feet for a running back honestly is a good height though because some running backs be way way smaller like Tariq Cohen I mean and that's not the only one I know but that's just one of the ones that came to mind right now there's a bunch more below a six feet well, let's go on back again we have Saquon who I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on because that's my favorite player of course and we got Nick Chubb so let's get to Nick Chubb so he's got wrecking ball okay so that's a new one Chubb discard not new for this year but new so far out of all these other ones Chubb discards defenders with powerful running and exceptional balance wrecking ball runners like Chubbs don't Chubbs. Chubb don't avoid contact. They create it. When he enters the zone, his ability increases success rate on the next three trucks or stiff arm. I honestly like Freight Train better than I do Wrecking Ball. And that's just from last year. Could it change this year? He's 5'11 from Georgia, number 24. Let's see. Don't avoid contact. Created a high success rate on the next three trucks or stiff arms. Three rushes of 10 plus yards. Tackle for a loss. So, so far, it seems like all the zone things for all the actual running abilities have been the same which kind of sucks. I was hoping they'd change it for each X-Factor at least a little bit. And now we're on to Saquon Barkley, the greatest running back in the league. And he has first one free as well, which sucks because I hate that one. But it is what it is. A true generational talent halfback. Just get Saquon the ball and reap the benefits. The Penn State product is one of the few players in the NFL who thrive on making defenders look silly. When he enters the zone, his first one free ability increases his fake out rate on his next spin. Juke, spin, or hurdle. Now, I think they need to, I hope they alter this ability just a little bit. Because last year, first one free was like a guaranteed slow juke, but I'd rather choose my evasive juke, which is just a fast juke around them. Now, I hope they made it so like, it's like a guaranteed juke. Like if I hit the juke button, no matter how bad I time it, no matter how bad anything, it's going to be the guy gets juked out. Or I don't really know how they're going to do it, but hopefully there's just some kind of edit to it. I don't know. I have no ideas myself on how to fix it, but hopefully they do. Halfback, number 26, six feet tall, weighs 233 pounds, college Penn State in his third season. Super cool card art. You know this will be on the thumbnail. Click on there. Obviously, same zone again. Three rush for 10 plus yards. Tackle for loss. Like Again, I don't like first one free, but again, at least in ultimate team, we won't be stuck with this one. This is just for regs. This is what he's going to have in regs. But in ultimate team, he's going to have, you can put whatever you want in him. So I'll probably end up putting like a freight train on him or like a bruiser. Or like, oh, it's an ability. But probably put a freight train on him for X Factor or maybe even an ankle breaker, which sounds just cooler than first one free if I had to choose myself. Now, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And honestly, we got quarterbacks, we got running backs, which leads me to believe that we'll be getting wide receivers tomorrow, which is weird because I guess they're not going to go through all the positions then because we only have five days of this. So if we go quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, let's just say offensive linemen and tight ends. I think they'll combine offensive linemen and tight ends. But then if we do, then we'll do secondary maybe all together, which because I don't know how they're going to manage to do it by position group. It'll take way too long. It'll take like 12 days worth. They did it that way, but better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hopefully, you guys stick around for 21. And if you're new, just hit the sub now. You won't regret it. We're going to have a big year, hopefully, in 21. So, super excited. We got new consoles. We got great. We got new content. Hopefully, there's a football season. And if not, you know we'll still be here grinding. So, hope things all go well. Hope you guys have enjoyed the content as far as this. I mean, it's exciting to see some Madden 21 stuff. It, just in general. I don't care if it's not Ultimate Team related specifically. It's still talking about 21. It's a lot more fun than talking about 20. I promise you. Guys, about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.